Hello guys, before we get started, I'd appreciate if you guys hit the like and subscribe button. Um, I'm going to go through the gearing setup real quick, and then I'm going to show you guys uh, some defensive matches and then uh, some offensive matches. Um, so the team that I am currently using, I have found to work pretty well with Russell and Drake, is a 2-2 setup with Russell with a crown. I'm using, I'm using HP holy damage on him. I'm using a one attack enable, one HP enable with unbending will and purify. Um, the reason why I'm using this setup is because I want him to be a little bit tanky, a little bit of damage, and um, just kind of live and sustain through the rounds. You could probably debatably bring Vitality instead of Lethal Fight back. Um, you can probably bring both. Uh, the Vitality will add a little bit more survivability to him, and Lethal Fight Back is a little bit more offensive. Um, I guess it just kind of depends on what you want. Uh, but both are, per, are are completely viable options for Russell. Um, over to Drake. Uh, he Right now I have a Speed HP Stone on him, 2-2 two, two setup with the Crown. Um, speed enables Vitality, Purify, and Unbending Will. Um... Just to real quickly go through his skills, um, the black hole mark is really good in my opinion. Um, if you're able to prevent the enemy heroes from purifying them off by either overloading them with debuffs or sealing them or turning them into a dove. Um, I think the dove is the most effective way. Um, I think Sherlock kind of moved up in a place in the tier list and not not moved up in the tier list but he's he's gonna be a lot more uh prevalent i think once a lot of people start getting sherlock's you're gonna see a lot more sherlock's pop up on your server trust me you will you'll see sherlock's you'll see russell's and you'll see drake's um so not not to go really through much i think the biggest things with this hero is his black hole mark it just absolutely eats someone up if the black hole mark gets popped. They they just can't live it. If they're at, if they're below eight, uh fifty percent HP and they get a black hole mark triggered on them, they're going to die. And it's awesome. And it gets reflected his damage. Um, normally he's anywhere from twenty to fifty billion damage, or not billion, fifty million damage. Um, he doesn't get super super high. Because not all the time his black holes are triggering, but when his black, dudes, black holes do trigger, it is a lot of damage and it finishes off heroes. And that is the big takeaway with Drake, is he is there not for damage necessarily, he's there to finish heroes off. He is there to assist your hero, just finish them off. So, um, back to Russell, his light arrow is absolutely insane against carries he is a carry counter um if we were asking for a carry counter it is russell unfortunately he is locked behind kind of a paywall right now but as it stands russell is the ultimate carry counter in the game right now um over to my other heroes i am running a one three split with a speed heal effect on bell rain with a lucky candy bar with attack enables um, my Sherlock's are running a 2-2 split. Uh, both of them have speed. This one has a speed crit. I need to get a speed HP on him. This one has an AMB with speed enables. Uh, once again, this one has speed enables. And uh, this one has a, a speed HP stone with a glittery Ruby Scepter. Um, the S1 speed stone is enough for me right now in my meta or because my server's meta is... Not a whole lot of people have Sherlock, so I don't really care too much for the upgraded speed yet. But once other Sherlocks start popping up or I'm facing other IDA Sherlocks, I'm going to need to upgrade this to maximum. But once I get there with the resources, I will. Um, so yeah, so those are all the heroes. Ada's her standard 2-2 speed HP demon bell. Kind of this setup. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to show some defensive here, uh, fights first. And um, then we'll go over to the offensive ones. So I hope you guys enjoy all that. So let's go get started. Uh, let's look at some uh, defensive battles. All of these battles right here are defense. 
as you can see, uh, looks like I had a 70% win rate with uh, my team. Uh, my team here is uh, two Sherlocks, a Russell, a Drake, a Bell, Rain, and Ada. Um, so let's go ahead. Uh, we'll go watch. Uh, we'll start off with this loss right here, and we'll kind of just go through and watch each one and watch what happens. As you can see, uh, right off the bat, uh, Russell and Drake are taunted. Uh, we lost. Uh, looks like a pretty much mark damage killed us right off the bat. This is the reason why we lost this one, as uh, his carries just basically got really lucky, and um, that's not a common occurrence. Um, as you can see, uh, had a 70% win rate, so this is not that common for him. He actually got really lucky with his team on offense. Um, so that is why I lost that match. Let's go ahead and watch what his other battles are. So he is running uh, two uh, D Demon Bell carries. It uh, looks like his carries did not get a whole lot of luck this time. Um, didn't melt my team. Um, it looks like my Sherlock's just doved three of his heroes, and then his Unimax broke out pretty quickly. Uh, looks like we lo we uh, lost the, the Russell. Um, so we got just the Drake with the Sherlock's and the Ada with the support of the Bell Rain. Um, so as you can see, uh, I think having sustain with uh, Drake and Russell is probably the biggest issue that they have and this is why running a team with a bell rain is very beneficial with running these heroes and also why Sherlock complements them really well because Sherlock prevents damage coming in and while also preventing passives so heroes can't purify uh, Drake's black holes. Um, I forgot to look at the damage report on that one. Um, I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna go back to it and skip it real quick just to show you guys the damage report there. Um, so you can see Russell did 62 uh, million damage there. Uh, he carried the team pretty much. Um, let's go and watch the next fight. So uh, I think the team on the left would be better if he was not running Amin Ra. Um, I think the Amon Ra is a little bit of a weakness in his team. So we got Doves out. Uh, Drake looks like he is surviving, just barely, hanging on by a thread. Once again, uh, those heals, um, he needs support. Russell and Drake need support. That's, that's the big takeaway I have uh, found out with these two heroes. Um, but with the right combination of heroes, they are extremely good. Trust me, guys. These heroes are not trash. They are not trash at all. Um, they are probably going to change the meta. Um, I think the meta is going to go away from ca uh, multiple carries. I think the meta is going to go closer to Sher with, uh, Sherlock's, Drake's, Ada's, and Russell's with some bell rings. Um, I think it's possible you'll see some other support heroes pop up, like Olivia, Ormus, um, a couple other of those healers. Doubt Vesa will pop up, but Ormus probably will, just because he has a lot of raw heals. So I'd expect to see uh, Ormus to become a little more popular in the coming future. Um, I haven't tested Gustin too much with this team. Um, I've kind of just found the two Sher Sherlocks with Bellrain to work really well to support them. Um, yeah, so once uh, Russell gets his uh, air light arrow stacks kind of built up, he uh, just kind of annihilates carries. As you can see, that carry just gets annihilated. Um, so he keeps carries at bay. Um, Sherlocks are dubbing everyone, so I can just destroy everyone with my light arrow. And uh, Drake will be... A bringing out those dark holes or black holes that uh, will eventually just finish heroes off um, because they won't be able to purify them off with the uh, with the dove there. So Russell there, finishing um, finishing off that match, he Russell 100% carried that one. Um, I don't think that Drake finished off too many heroes in that attempt. 
But um, in the attempts that his black holes do pop off, it is insane. Trust me. It's Drake is a really good hero. I am really excited to get two, my hands on two Drakes. Um, I think it's going to be really good. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to go through some offensive uh, battles after these fights. Um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you guys what team that I have found to make these heroes work. Um, don't need carries anymore. Um, I've been kind of showing this, uh, my pre-anniversary uh, PvP video, I was already showing you that you don't really need carries. Uh, the meta has been going away from carries very slowly since Sherlock's release. Um, I think Sherlock had the greatest impact on the meta. And I think Russell and Drake are just solidifying the meta shift even further. Um, don't trust me. You might see the slow damage by Drake. Don't discount it. Um, there are times where his black hole is very crucial and finishing off heroes, um, especially on offense. It becomes a, a lot more important because uh, Sherlock's se seem to, they used to have issues with round, hitting round 15 and stalling matches. Um, that was their old issue. Uh, with Drake and Russell, especially Drake, it becomes less of an issue because uh, they are able to finish off heroes a lot easier with uh, the Drake and Russell combo. So hopefully this Drake will get some black holes coming out. Looks like he's taunted, so it might just go onto the Unimax, but nope, carry uh, drained his energy. Uh, Russell annihilating that Unimax, popping his unbending will. I think that the Russell will finish off a couple heroes here with his light arrow. Uh, Drake just actually finished off the Unimax there. Russell is dead, so we have just Drake here. And now we have just the Sherlocks. So this is kind of showing you why already Sherlocks were really good on defense. Um, they're really good at stalling out the rounds and just taking them all the way to the end. Looks like my Ada was able to handle uh, both of these carries. Looks like he hit round 15 and lost. Um, so this one was basically a double Sherlock round 15 stall almost. Um, let's go and check out what this guy was running when he attacked me. So it looks like he was going with a quad carry double Ruta. Um, not one of the best lineups. It's a, I would say that's an old meta lineup. Um, it used to be really, really, really solid on offense uh, about a month, month and a half ago. And then once Sherlock came out, these here, these team, teams like on this on the left on offense, they're starting to lose flavor. They really are. All right, so Russell is finishing off the heroes. Russell, once again, is just kind of carrying the show here. Hopefully, we can see some black holes go out by this Drake. Uh, that Garuda did get a black hole, but the Russell... Is just going to finish him. And uh, we lost Drake. I wonder if this is going to be another round 15 stall. Yeah, maybe not. I think uh, Russell will actually finish this one off. Russell will finish this off. For sure. Is a faction advantage. Yep. Yep. So uh, these initial fights appears that uh, Drake isn't doing good. And you guys might say that. Um, but hopefully in the offensive fights, you'll kind of see a little bit differently. Um, this one is a loss. So we'll go ahead and watch this. It looks like he went over to a double Terra lineup. 
instead of the quad carry uh, double Ruta. So this uh, this lineup right here is um, kind of what his uh, guildmates are also running. Um, but I have found that my team has a pretty decent win rate against this uh, double Terra team here. Kind of curious if they scrolled for uh, Drake or Russell. Uh, they have calmed down on their on their spending recently. I have noticed on on my server. So I lost this one. So let's see if uh, so Drake actually did a lot of damage in this one, but we did lose. Uh, let's go ahead and check out this win right here. So I have two my both my Sherlock's are sealed by the uh, Terras. Uh, Drake or I mean Russell coming in with his active ability. That one Terra has a black hole just popped. It looks like, and he just got another black hole. I think the Russell will finish off that Terra and finish off the Belrain. Oh, she killed herself from Ada's mark. And Drake just got an active off and put two black holes out. Uh, I think that Terra is going to get finished off by black hole. Oh, nope, he just cleansed it off. And now just a lonely Ada left, and he just got chunked down. So there you go, uh, Drake, 31 billion, um, Russell, 86 billion. So as you can see, the common theme is Russell is the main damage dealer here. Uh, Russell, it, I mean, Drake is just kind of there to complement Russell's damage and to make sure heroes are getting finished off while the Sherlocks are dubbing the enemy team, make sure that they can't purify these black holes off of them. All right, so... Um, realized when I did a, a bunch of offensive fights, I recorded a bunch of fights, and uh, I had no gear set up on my Drakes or the Sherlocks, so I was actually losing a bunch of fights, and I was like, why is my team not doing so good? And I go looked at the heroes, and I realized that uh, for my PvE fights, I unequipped everything from all the Sherlocks and uh, the Drake, so... We should have the great gear set up now, um, so I'm gonna go around and attack some uh, some of the larger people in our server. I'm just going to we'll do some non skips and skips, just kind of show what this team can do on offense. Um, so yeah, so right off the bat, Bell Rain dies, so we're gonna get a bunch of heals. We got four doves already. So this team is looks like it's gonna just wipe the floor against these Terras and these carries. Yeah, they got more. There are more doves. Uh, black holes that go out are gonna stay out on the field. And Mr. Russell is just going to annihilate everyone. And everyone's doved. We'll just go ahead and hit the skip button. Looks like we're gonna win that. Uh, Russell doing 34 billion, um, so doing some pretty good damage from, from Drake there. Um, let's fight this guy. He's got a pretty good team. Uh, his weakness, I believe, is the raw. I think uh, yeah, this guy was the guy that was fighting me on the defense. So we got some offensive fights against this guy and, and some defense in this video. Uh, Bell Rain is dead, so she's going to heal up our team. Um, Black Hole is on the Unimax, so after a couple rounds, hopefully that will pop and kill him.
Nope, it looks like he cleansed it off. Now Garuda has a black hole. Uh, she'll probably cleanse that off since she had no other debuffs. Not getting a whole lot of doves out in this fight. Surviving that, that active from Gerda is huge though, from, with those crowns. And then Mr. Russell is just going to finish off the fight. Not a whole lot of damage from Drake there. Um, that time there wasn't a whole lot of uh, black holes getting popped. They were getting cleansed because the doves, uh, the Sherlocks were not dubbing people. Let's fight this uh, double Terra team here. Uh, we got one dove off. Um, I, the Bell Rain is going to need to die here too soon to heal up our team. Yep, I think she's going to die right there. Got doves on the one Terra. Drake just fit, got punished by, I think that was uh, DM from Carrie. And I th hope, uh, I think the Russell will finish off this ter these Terras with uh, Sherlock's. I think they'll be pretty easily done. I'm going to hit the skip button. Oh, maybe we stalled out. Probably stalled out. We'll go ahead and fight him again. We'll hit the skip. Hit up, won that one. Uh, looks like the Ada carried that fight. Well, let's get this guy. Drake, 23 million. So, big takeaway from Drake is don't look at his damage. You got to look at what he brings to your team. Um, you got to make sure he stays alive with some support. It's, it's possible that I am not running the best team. Um, I think there's a there might be other teams out there that are better than this one. Getting some losses here. But just to show you, like I'm I'm not, I'm not it's not some like team that's gonna win every single fight. Um, but it does really well. Um, these heroes are definitely not trash. Uh, they're not god 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 tier. I don't think they're definitely really really good. Russell is definitely a carry to uh, or counter to carry, and Drake just kind of compliments Russell. He helps he helps Russell finish heroes off. Yeah, that that light arrow on carries just annihilate them, doing one mil each hit. And it'll do multiple hits. Hey, the carries just, just don't have a chance. You got a deer active coming out here. Heal up the heal up the Drake. Bunch of doves. I think we will win this one unless it stalls out to round 15. I don't think it will though. I think the Drakes and the, and the Russell will finish it off. Yep. There we go. Victory. And Russell, 125 million. Drake. Didn't get didn't get his chance to shine there. There we go. We got a good good one from Drake there. Thirty four million. That means he finished off some heroes doing his job. I'm just gonna go around and just start smashing some some heroes that are on my server or uh, some players on my server. This guy has a double Gruda. Interesting fight here. I wonder what happened here.
And we got lost there. And a victory there. So it's uh it's watch one let's watch one fight. Uh, let's watch uh let's fight this guy right here that we just lost to. This guy's got double grudos. Uh, I do think uh double Drake will be viable. Um I'm going to be able to test that later. Um, just as, I mean, also a side note, my hero does not have maximum stones that Russell doesn't and Drake doesn't. So they do not have optimal setups. Um, I mean, the, the, the Drake has a C3 stone. He can be a lot faster, um, but he's not, and he can have more HP if the higher stone. So yeah, there's definitely improvements to this team that's possible. I can improve the stones. I can maybe get another Drake. Um, maybe one day get an Ormus. Uh, I might try an Olivia eventually. I might swap a Gruda for an Olivia. Um, I think Olivia is going to be really well in, the, in this in this uh, meta with supporting Russell and Drake. Um, but I do think once people start to get more crowns, start to figure out how good these heroes actually are. Um, I think we will people's opinions on these heroes will start to change so that is kind of like my initial takeaway on these two heroes um don't listen to the crowds they're not trash they are good in pvp you just need the right gear set up you need the right uh team composition um as you can see i mean it's not like 100% win rate. I, I'm, I'll, I'll say that it's not 100%. I mean, it's still fairly positive. It's well, it's well over 50%. Um, some teams are higher, some teams are lower, depending on who you fight. Um, this guy has multiple carries. Russell's just destroying this guy. Like carries are just destroyed by Russell. Russell, they don't have his chance against Russell. Um, so. Russell, great. Drake, just a compliment. Um, so if you are wondering what my takeaway is, if you should use your scrolls or if you shouldn't use your scrolls, I think you should use your scrolls. Um, I think once people start to figure out how to use these heroes, if you don't have a Drake, you might regret that in the future. So you have 2,000 scrolls and you are planning on building a Sherlock in the future, uh, planning on building maybe an Olivia or an Ormus or a Belrain if you already have a Belrain, um, just throw in a couple support heroes with them. You can make them work and they will do pretty well, pretty well against multiple carry teams, especially Russell. Russell does really well against multiple carry teams. So um, I hope you guys, I hope this solves enough answers or answers questions for you guys. Uh, I'll probably, I'll be making more videos. I'll probably, I'll probably make another video about this hero or both of these heroes some point later in the week. Um, I just wanted to get this video out there, show you guys what my initial opinions are and I, how I don't think the masses, the mass reaction at the start of the anniversary is appropriate. These heroes are good. They fit in the meta. Debatably S tier. You say that right now. S tier. These heroes. So um, I'm pretty sure that's true. And I will verify that later on once I can max these heroes. But my initial assessment is that these heroes will probably be placed, both of them in S tier, maybe Russell in S plus and Drake in S, but we will see. Um, so thanks for checking out my video. Watch out for more uh, videos coming up with more PvP assessments. Um, I'll try to explore a little bit later on with my teams. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys.